Hello everyone, this is Apple iOS Genius. Uh, today we're going to go through a video that um, how to use your quantum superloader on a server end to take backup uh, in case it doesn't want to eject uh, for either going through software or if you're using a backup exec or any other kind of other so uh, network software that what happens is uh, it will not allow you to eject the drive itself. So I've contacted Quantum Superloader itself and they said that there's no way that uh, a service technician needs to come appear on site, uh, which very much so is not possible uh, because the issue is that they cannot fix it either. Uh, but there is actually a way to get into it uh, just by using a butter knife. So I've gone ahead and I'm going to go ahead and open another video in a moment and this will help you showing how to do it. So we're going to go up and open this video here, and we're going to go ahead and play it. Here I am just basically explaining that this is the quantum superloader. I'm going to go through the commands and try to attempt an eject process. So there's the mail slot, there's a right magazine, there's a left magazine. So the left magazine has the cassette in it, and it will not remove. Uh, when I try to do the right magazine, it would actually say system lock as well. And then when I try to do the tape mail slot, it would actually prompt me the same process as well when I do it from the drive. Um, now, I've also contacted our external vendor uh, who actually does our, our backups and so forth. They say there's nothing locked on their end and so forth. Um, so basically, this is a way I kind of found out in my Quantum LT05 that what you need to do is go ahead and power cycle the product down. Uh, here it says you have to wait up to four minutes, but actually it's kind of a little faster than that. Um, once it's completely shut off, as you'll see in a moment, and then what you'll need to obtain is go ahead and obtain a butter knife, or you can use a, a ruler, uh, peripheral metal would be better than you using a wooden one. And what you want to do is you want to get it through the slot between the where the LCD box frame is at and the magazine loader on the left hand side. So here we're going to go ahead and grab a... So here it is that we are on the magazine loader. Here is a wide angle view. So here is the quantum. And basically what I'm going to do here, see it's currently off, that's left magazine, that's the right magazine. And then we're going to go ahead and slide it in between the nudge of the quantum and as well as the, um, the drive itself, the mail slot. So here's a butter knife. We're going to go ahead and slide it in here. You want to stay to the near to closest to the bottom and there's actually a, a safety lock mechanism that unlocks when you do it properly through the system software. But software is not working properly so if we're going to go ahead and try to slide this in here and if you slide it in properly, you'll be able to hear a click noise, and there you go. Now you can actually eject the uh, magazine site. And as you can see, as I, the unit has to be off while this process is being performed. So go ahead, and we'll remove this magazine, and you'll see that there are cartridges inside. So basically, there's a mail slot available. So that mail slot that's available is where I need to put, pop in another tape. Now here is the safety lock mechanism. Uh, this little plastic and as you can see it slides in and out. Once you select that option and you'll be able to allow the magazine to be removed. So that applies to the right side as well and I can go ahead and try to do that here. Um, we're going to see it's going to be the same process. So you got to make sure it's near to the bottom uh, and then you just slide it in. There's that little metal bracket there that's sticking out a little. So you might actually just hit that a few times. So here is I've been trying to go ahead and uh, slide it in there and try to eject it. In a moment it will be out. So we have to go through about halfway through the knife um, or butter knife or ruler that you might be using. And that's why I was using my finger there so then you can be able to see how far the, the knife actually needs to go to. So you can go ahead and remove the, uh, the magazine cartridge. Uh, this is the only way that you can go ahead and eject it in case you have software issues and so forth. Uh, what you want to do is you always want to hit that slide lever on the left hand side which you'll see on the right side will be the same thing. 
the unit is still off as you can see in the center there the LCD panel is turned off and now you can actually move and take out the magazines so basically this is the video and thanks for joining us at Apple at iOS Genius in case you need to look me up further feel free to go ahead to the Google Chrome browser or whatever browser you might be using uh, when you go visit YouTube in case you came across my page by accident or by just a search you can just go do a search for Apple iOS Genius and then once you do that right here next to where it says buy iOS Genius so I want to go ahead and select that this will be my channel of any uploaded recent videos as well as any past videos that I uploaded this is anyone helping out network administrators to anyone using a Mac or anything related to uh, educational enterprise uh, solutions. Thanks, and we'll talk to you then. Have a good day.